Hi everyone. We've had an eclectic set of videos on this developing late colonial period of Sydney and I really hope that what you've seen and what you've heard has informed you and entertained you and that if that's the case then I'm glad. Thank you very much. Now in the videos we've seen senior politicians continue their fights, the MacArthur's and the Wentworth's. We've seen the men of the land and how with hard work and guile they transformed the land for grazing. We saw the pioneering, achieving and social justice driven women, the colourful governors and full throttle squatters. We saw the explosion in growth of wool, the colony split as it matures, improvements to education and the end of transportation of convicts. All interesting titles and a patchwork in, in the mosaic of what we call the late colonial period of New South Wales. So that comes to the end of this series, but soon we'll be looking at the third series of the buildings that characterise the late colonial period from 1838 to 1851. And we'll talk about the architects who started to change buildings that had a poor effect on the landscape. So that's it from me, Michael Bischel. And if you'd like to read more, please jump in. There are many, many fine books and references which detail a great deal more about the people and events that have been seen in the videos. Additionally, if you like your Australian historical fiction and you're new to these videos on YouTube, I'd like to meet some fictional characters that have been placed in these real real situations then jump onto my website michaelbeschel.com.au and enjoy the read thank you for watching and listening bye for now